I felt like uh, somebody was finally on our side. Over the last year and a half, Alex Cabriales says he has not had a lot of good days. In February of last year, Cabriales' sister Pamela was shot to death while stopped at a light at Colfax and I-25. Nishan Johnson has no remorse. Prosecutors charged 18-year-old Nishan Johnson and a 14-year-old who is not named because of his age. According to court documents, the two teens thought Pamela Cabriales had tapped their car from behind. Police said the 14-year-old was the shooter while Johnson drove the getaway car. We uh, just uh, let the judge know how we felt about the deal. On Friday, a Denver judge rejected a deal that would have resulted in Johnson pleading guilty to second-degree murder and serving seven years in the Colorado youth offender system. It, it was a small victory in a, in a long battle. In the end, it's all up to the judge. Nine News legal analyst Scott Robinson says seven years in the youth offender system did seem like a lenient sentence given the nature of the case, and he was not surprised that the judge rejected the deal. It is unusual that any plea bargain is rejected in any case, except in high-profile cases, especially high-profile cases involving a homicide. According to court records, Nishan Johnson's trial is scheduled to begin on November 28th. No trial date has yet been set for the 14-year-old who police say was the shooter. Prosecutors are planning to try him as an adult. Tom? Matt, it seems a little more common now. We're hearing a bit of a, a gap between what prosecutors and victims want to see in some of these cases. A little bit more, Tom. As Scott Robinson alluded to, often it happens in high-profile cases and often in homicides. All right. Thanks, Matt.